hello. <laughs> uh, my name's Liz Pichon and I write and draw all the Tom Gates books. And this year is a very special year because it's Tom's 10th anniversary. It's been 10 years since the very first Tom Gates book came out. And that was called The Brilliant World of Tom Gates. This year, we've got a book coming out called 10 Tremendous Tales. Um, that's out in February. And as part of the celebrations, um, I'm celebrating. I don't know if anyone else is, <laughs> but I'm going to be reading to you a little bit of every single one of the books. There's all 18 books. And this one is called Tom Gates Spectacular School Trip, really. Um, this is based on the play that I co-wrote with Neil Foster. Um, so this was a stage play that went around the country touring, had music and everything in it. Um, so this is the part that I'm going to read you, which is right at the very beginning. So if you've seen the play, if you've got to see the play, do you remember those days when you could go to the theatre? Um, then you will recognise some of the story. But here we go. Tom is <gasps> shouting, panic. Whatever you do, don't look at the achievement chart. <gasps> Hmm, I said don't look. It's not like I meant to get three sad faces. It just sort of happened. Marcus didn't help much. He's only got one sad face or two if you count his actual face. And the worst part is none of them were my fault. It's true. I got this sad face in quiet time. I was just doodling a nice picture of Mr Fullerman with big eyes, teeth, hair, lots of it. When Marcus Meldrew, who's a nosy parker, started laughing so loudly, ha ha, you'll get in trouble if Mr Fullerman sees that. Shh, he won't see it if you keep quiet, I said. Too late. Tom, that's one sad face for you. Oh, see what I mean? Not my fault. Then last week I was round at Derek's house getting my homework done on time for a change when Rooster jumped up, grabbed it, then ran off. Mr. Fullerman was not impressed. Hmm. So, let me get this right. The dog ate your homework again? Yes, sir, I said. It's true. That's the second sad face of the term, Tom. Oh, I couldn't believe I had two sad faces. Then, this morning, I woke up really early for school and went to meet Derek, who was surprised to see me on time. Tom, you're here. Don't sound so surprised. Come on, let's go. We don't want to be late, I said. Derek and I did fast walking and tried not to get distracted by anything. Then Derek suddenly stopped and shouted, Hey, Tom, look what I found, 50p. We did a high five and then went straight to the shop. But deciding what to buy was tricky. Hmm, should we get one packet of cheesy puffs or two fruit chews or how about one caramel wafer to share. Maybe a whole bag of broken biscuits, Derek suggested, which was a good idea. But the shopkeeper spotted us checking which bag was the biggest and said, come on you two, they're all the same size. They're not all the same size, everybody knows that. While I checked the bags, Derek spotted that the latest copy of Rock Weekly had Dude 3 on the cover. Look at this, Tom. So we took a sneaky peek through the whole magazine while the queue went down, then decided to buy one caramel wafer to share. It was a good plan, Derek agreed. But when we got to the front of the queue, all the wafers had gone, which was a disaster. Da, 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 no. <laughs> there we are. Luckily, the shopkeeper saved the day and found another box. So we got a wafer after all. <sighs> That's a relief. Derek said and I agreed. I split the wafer into two and enjoyed eating it slowly. The trouble was we spent so much time in the shop that we missed the start of school. Ding, 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 ding. Uh-oh, you're late, Tom. That's three sad faces now. But sir, I say, in a please don't give me another sad face kind of way. If you get one more sad face, Tom, you know what will happen, Mr. Fullerman asks. Sort of, sir, I reply. Then Marcus sticks up his hand and starts saying, Sir, sir, I know what will happen. Marcus is so annoying. He'll get a detention, sir, and he'll have to do lots of extra homework too. Thanks for reminding me, Marcus, I say. Any time, smug. You can put your hand down, Marcus. Right down. No, 
as I was saying, anyone with four sad faces will not be allowed to go on the school trip, Mr Fullerman tells us. School trip? What school trip? I ask. The school trip that you won't be going on with your four sad faces, Marcus says. So I point out, I don't have four sad faces, Marcus. Yet, he adds. Quiet down, I'll tell you more about the school trip later. Right now, here's something else to look forward to. This week's homework. Oh, we all groan. It's very special homework, Mr Fullerman says, trying to make it sound interesting. Like that even exists, I whisper to Amy. It's going to be displayed for the school open day when parents and carers come to look around our fantastic school and see if their own children will love it here. And who wouldn't want to come to Oakfield School? Right, Class 5F? Silence. Then Marcus sticks up his hand and says, Sir, sir, I can tell them how great the school is. That's excellent, Marcus. I'm sure you can all think of lovely things to say about the school. Silence. <laughs> and I can tell them all about the achievement chart and how you can't ever go on a school trip if you have three sad faces, sir, Marcus says, looking at me. Actually, it's four sad faces, Marcus, Mr Fullerman corrects him. I think it should be three, sir, because three sad faces means that you haven't been very good at all and three is my lucky number, Marcus replies. You can't change the rules, Marcus, Amy tells him. Marcus is trying to stop me from going on the school trip, but that's not going to happen. There we go. <laughs> so that's a little bit from Tom Gates' spectacular school trip, really. And what have we got the back of this one? Let's have a look. Oh, how to make a very simple kazoo. So if you want to, you can follow the instructions and make a very easy kazoo. You could have a go. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that.